Welcome back. It's been a while since I acquired this particular wall, so when I pulled it out and started evaluating it, I was pleasantly surprised. Surprise, Sydney. All right, we've seen this before. I know you have. This is the Speakeasy Dea Vella Minimalist Wallet. This is the premium autumn harvest leather color with a copper thread. Hope you like that copper thread. I like that as a good contrast. It also comes in nine other colors of leather and 12 colors of thread. And the type of logo you want, whether you want a full body, you want just the head, and there is also a skull-based one that's really kind of cool. And then lastly, you've got options for personalization. Oh, actually, you don't. I take that back. But you can choose the color of the snap, and I did the antique brass. Another high-in-demand product with a backlog for orders. Well, let's see what it's got. Features, we have an external card slot right here. We have this thumb push and this thumb grab. You'll use both of these to get cards out of here for sure. And we then move to the snap. What is it holding? Well, we unsnap it and it reveals where we have cash. Cash folded once that you can put back here. Uh, it's geared towards more domestic currency uh, and well, shorter currencies, not tall currencies. So there's a lot that would fit there. And the snap holds this securely while allowing more cash to be carried here in the back. This can stretch as well as the cards. A number of cards you put in here, this leather will stretch as well. One thing I really liked is, is uh, this is one piece of leather that wraps around, comes up into here, and then you've got a separate piece of leather right here that creates this piece in the middle. So this wraps around all the way to here, and we have the separate piece in here. Uh, very clever, I do like this. It just uh, reduces material, and I think it's a great look. It measures four by three by 0.4, and it weighs 33 grams, or 1.2 ounces. Mmm, yeah, very nice. And there are some interesting nuances to this particular wallet, so let's keep going. Company recommends up to six cards. I put five in there right out of the gate. And so, you know, again, it's built for up to six cards. You can put more, it will stretch. And I got the different various currencies in there. Um, this Singaporean currency is just slightly taller than the others. And that's why it did stick out a little bit. But as you can see from these shorter currencies that I had in here, including the US dollar, it all just fits fine. I mean, there's no issue of it point, poking out uh, or, you know, having to. I don't know, damage your currency as part of the closure. It's designed in the United States and made there as well. This is an all leather offering. Uh, it, all their leather offerings are full grain veg tanned leather with several color options in Italian ba uh, Badalassi Carlo leather. I always uh, like saying that. Now the premium leathers like what we have here are more waxy and demonstrate more of a pull up. So if I put my finger in here, you can actually see that pull up happening right through here. Okay, that's not the light, that's my finger. That comes from the tannins and the oils that are infused into the leather. The burnishing is done rather nicely, so we can see here on both sides. And I think that the weight of the leather, meaning its thickness, is just perfect for this. It's very slim, but still incredibly functional. Even as it folds over here, you don't have a lot of bulk being created. It's priced for $65 little higher than you'd think, but uh, but actually reasonable considering it's made in the United States, quality of leather construction, and so forth. Now let's talk a little bit about design. If you're right-handed, you do have a single-handed ability to unsnap this wallet for quick access to cash. The combination of this mentioned the thumb push and the thumb grab at the top make extracting cards much easier than if you only had one or the other, and the wallet will accommodate more cash and more cards. Like I mentioned, it will stretch out. It's uh, you know, But a balance of cash should allow for a reduction of the number of cards without them falling out. So meaning that if you stretch this a little too much and you have more cash in here, it will create more pressure on the front, so cards shouldn't fall out. However, with all leather, just be aware. It doesn't matter. It's not just this wallet. If you overstretch it, let's say you stretch it to eight or 10 cards, and then you go back down to four, five, or six, uh, this will be very loose. And you know, there's a lot of unconventional ways to try and treat that. Uh, but you know, just be sure you're going to carry the number of cards you plan to carry. There have been reports that metal cards fall out of this. And again, if you're carrying cash or you have other cards around it, I uh, filled this up with some metal cards that I have. Not filled it, but I put some metal cards in here. I didn't really see that problem, but I think that would come after a while of it stretching with the accommodating of the cards that you're going to carry. So what do you think? There are wallets that are similar, but there's always something different. Now onto the final score. For quality of five, price of three. Still think it's very reasonable. Features of four. I like what it provides in such a small footprint. Usability of four and perception of four. And that gives us a final score of 4.1 out of five. Boom! Now watch this video next and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.